we're not coping, we're just taking each day as it comes. Um, it's, it's just things don't move on. We just we're, we're still stuck in that same time as when my dad was murdered. Just, everything's just seems in my life anyway to have stood still. Seems the same for all of us. Nothing, nothing moves on. Everything's still as that day. You know, you can't, you, you can't bury your father. You, you, you just can't do anything. My dad was, um, he was like my best friend as well. Um, no matter what problems I had, or if I'd got myself in some sort of trouble, I could go to my dad, and he would always be there. Never judge me, and would always help me. Um, such a, a great man. Um, that's all you can say. Yeah, you know, it, it was always, it always there. Anybody. It, it would help anybody. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, before his death, he was—he seemed the happiest he'd been, um, and I'm absolutely devastated that someone has has done this. You know, we as a family, it's it's destroyed us. When he was murdered, we was. Um, yeah. No, Somebody out there knows exactly who did this. They know. They know who did this. Other people out there have got information that they need to share. They need to tell. You know what happened. Because there's no closure for us. We can't. We can't move anywhere. You know, our father was a great man and didn't deserve. Didn't deserve this. Anybody with him, any information, no matter how small, it, it might be just the, the bit of information we need to be able to bring these people to justice. Um, our father didn't deserve to die, not in, in this manner, it's, it's just so wrong. And where the house is, it's, it's so lit up. Somebody yeah. must have seen something, this is what we cannot understand. My dad helped everybody in the community, anybody, no matter what colour, nationality. It, it, it was not prejudiced about no, anything. No, it was just it was, unconditional, it was, wasn't it? It, it was a non-confrontational man. It, it would just help anybody out. And we can't understand how someone can come and, and into his home and, and murder him and nobody has seen anything. It, it just does not make sense. Somebody has seen something or somebody knows something. And the thing is, don't be scared. Don't be scared to come forward. You know, get these people off the street. You know, these people don't belong in our society. You know, you know something. You know, definitely somebody knows something. You know, please, just don't be scared. Pick up the phone anonymously. You know, just please give us some kind of closure. It's, it's... It's too late for air, Dad, but this person is probably going to do this again. So if you know the person, you need to give them up, because... What if they do it to your parents next? Yeah. You know, for air, Dad, it's too late. But don't let it be too late for someone else's family to have to go through what we're going through. My dad was the traditional rag and bone man, as people call it, the scrap man. And you know his father before him as well, you know, and that's what we knew. You know, he he gave us the tools to earn a living. Whether we decided to go down that route, you know, that was up to us. But he gave us that. My dad was a workaholic. Mm, that's yeah. what he lived for. He was happiest getting up in the morning. He would have his cup of tea, um, and, and then go out, start his truck up, and, and off he'd go for the day. Um, that's all he, he wanted. He, he was happy just going out in the morning, earning a living, coming home, sitting in front of the telly, watching cowboy films. That, mm. That's what he loved. You know, he he just did everything the way he yeah, wanted to do it. Yeah. yeah. This will be the fourth vigil. Third? Third. No, yeah. no this will be the fourth. Fourth yeah, think, vigil yeah. tonight um, at 10 o'clock. Um, and it brings the neighbourhood and, and people that are new my uh, dad. Uh, together, people come and, and you know express their thoughts. But this is what feelings. the public wanted. 
it wasn't something that we'd considered doing ourselves this is what everybody in the area has asked to do because that way you know they feel close they can talk and you know we you know we hear so many stories from people of what my dad did and what you know and they're all wonderful stories yeah, my two young boys since the death of their granddad um have been absolutely absolutely been pieces, they? yeah they've been pieces and um have <coughs> had to seek counseling um my dad was the world to them and um, they were absolutely devastated, absolutely devastated. You try and protect your kids and they want to turn up to the vigils, you know, they want to know what's going on and you can't, you, you can't explain to them everything, you know. All you say to your children is, you know, Pappy's not here, he's gone to heaven now. But then when they see other people, you know, at um, the vigils at our father's house, they want to be there, they want to be part of it. But as parents, you try and protect your children from that. The police are looking for uh, two cars, two Ford Focuses that was uh, driving close together on the time of my dad's murder. Um, if anybody knows who these people are, if you was a passenger, please come forward to the police so they can eliminate you from the inquiries so we can find out who's done this to our dad.